Okay, taking a look at Asana here, you've got this wicked move down. So, you know, uh, caution advised. I mean, you got this kind of a play here. So, I don't know, maybe you get a little move off of that, but then you run right back into this. So, I mean, good grief. If you really want to be... Uh, be this kind of a player in here and make this kind of a play, uh, you know, you, you got to be in the major leagues. That is a, okay, so sure, you're, you're going to get, uh, major league players are going to get some kind of what they call, you know, they can look for it, a, a capitulation trade where you get one of these and then one of these. Uh, yeah, that's going to happen, I guess. But listen, you got to have a capitulation uh, a trading system, and they're going to be, you know, all over that. There's some guys that can do that. I don't know if, if that's, you know, uh, maybe less than 1% of the guys. So this is for the real pros, you know, and I do mean the real professional day traders, which I'm, I'm not anymore. <laughs> uh, I was never good at that. And uh, that's why I lost that job. So, you know, I'm not going to be the best guy to tell you what to look for in a capitulation trade. I can tell you what, uh, there is going to be one that comes, okay? There is going to be one in here. It's going to look something like down here. You get a huge spike down, look, and you're going to look for a big volume like that or like that, you know? So what happened on these big volume days is that you had, look, you had a short-term low. Okay, what happened? Here's another volume spike. Uh, let's see what happened. Look at that. Okay, so you did get, and what happened right here? Yeah, look, a low. Okay, so that's what you're going to look for is some kind of a big, big capitulation volume. Okay, and that'll be the sign that, you know, maybe you hold overnight, and uh, then you're going to have something there, but that's not my cup of tea. I don't, you know, I don't know. Maybe this is a good company, I thought. That was a pretty good one. So, hey, you know what? Maybe, maybe you could get a little capitulation low there. But listen, until you start seeing, like, what's the volume on here? Until you start seeing this volume and look for an area, look for your spot, right? So if I was in the major leagues, which I'm not, I'm a minor league batter. I'm fine with that. Look, 2650. So you got... You got, uh, it's at 27.30 right now. So you got another dollar or so. Uh, but hey, or, you know, maybe you don't even get that. Maybe you don't even get another dollar. Maybe, maybe tomorrow the thing, I don't know. So, but if you're looking for a textbook capitulation, I think that's your only play here, right? Because there's nothing else going on. And so even then, you're not going to get like a nice, I don't know, two, three, four month rally, I would just look for one of these moves. Okay, so count how many days that was. I'd look for one of these moves. Okay, and I do it right within the context of this kind of, uh, let's see, where is this? Somewhere around there? So look, maybe you get something up to here. Okay, as a, that's kind of, kind of maybe even steeper. So how many days was this? Look, you got, count this, one, two, let's clear it up here. One, two, three, four day rally there. Okay, let's count this one. You had a one, two, three on the big one, four, five day rally before it pretty much topped out, you know? A, uh, so call it four or five day rally. So this is what you look for if you're gonna trade this Asana Okay, which I'm I'm probably not unless you do get all these to line up. Look, look for big volume. Let's count the uh, let's count the volume here to know what we're dealing with. What's the volume? Volume is where does it say here? Nineteen point seven million. So let me see if I can look. Okay, here's the volume uh, right up in here. So this is. 1.26 million today. So you're going to look for, I'd say, you know, give it over, over 
10 million on the volume. That's that's about 20. So call this is maybe like 15, 15. Yeah, so something over 10 million, right? So if you get a big, huge spike up, call it 10, 15, 20 million share day, and, you know, and a, a little bit of a down move. I'll tell you what the real indicator is. The real one is if you get this big volume day, but the price doesn't go below like a previous low, all right? So if you get a big volume day and the, and the price only comes like down to here, so you get no further price decline than right here, 27-ish, right? That's a good sign that that's a capitulation low, you know, but then obviously you're gonna have to put in I mean, if you want to buy this thing and you buy it for a move up, a quick move up to like, you know, here ish. OK, I'll tell you what, you better. You better put in a stop. Somewhere, because if this thing goes, you know, clear down to 10, you don't you don't want to be any part of that. That's bad news. OK, so that's setting itself up for some kind of a capitulation low trade. And you know who's the guy on that? There's a podcast out there. There's a real trader. I wouldn't listen to me if you – there's a guy out there on a podcast. Uh, I think it's called Chat with Traders. I think that's what it is. It's an Australian – it's an Aussie uh, host – hosts that podcast. I think it's called Chat with Traders. And there's a guy on there. It was a two-part series. And, uh, you know, he made tons of money doing these capitulation lows. And he explains it more. I wonder, you know, it's it was from, I want to say, recently. It's not the latest, uh, you know, edition of that podcast. But it was recently, maybe at the end of 2021 and, and maybe uh, early this year. So you can go check that out. It was one of the only two-part series I remember in there, and it's called like the – well, you'll find it. You'll find it. He's a good one. I think his name starts with a J. Jason maybe? Something. And Oh, you know who he traded? He traded with Trillium. Trillion? Big fund there. He traded with uh, – yeah, what is it? Uh, Trillium. That's the one. So find that one. That guy was a good trader. Uh He'll probably give more details about what to look for, but I know that that's generally the guideline of what you'll want to look for, all right? So, uh, hey, you know, just be careful with this one.